Welcome to the 2015 Fayette County Teacher of the Year celebration, where we are honoring all school level teachers of the year, as well as naming this year's winner from our three finalists. The Teacher of the Year competition is nearly a year long process that starts in October when schools select their Teachers of the Year. Those teachers become nominees in the county competition. Each submits an essay style application that is scored by a three judge panel of retired teachers and the previous year's winner. The teachers with the top three highest scores become the finalists. In March, each finalist is observed in the classroom and interviewed by the judges. The winner is the teacher with the highest score. Our finalists for the 2015 competition are Sean Bennett of the Fayette County Alternative School, Lynn Braschetti of McIntosh High, and Gail France of Peoples Elementary. Before we announce the winner, let's take a look at some highlights from the celebration. Well, good evening and welcome to the 2015 Fayette County Teacher of the Year celebration. My name is Angie Meredith and I'll be your MC for the evening. On behalf of the Board of Education, thank you for making a difference in the lives of our students by educating them and preparing them to become CEOs, doctors, engineers, inventors, teachers, and good citizens. Again, congratulations and thank you for teaching in Fayette County. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the 2015 School Level Teachers of the Year. Are you ready? <laughs> Elizabeth Miller, Bennett's Mill Middle. <laughs> Dr. Ellen Mitchell, Grayland Elementary. <laughs> Maureen Blaylock, North Fayette Elementary. Betty Shirley, Robert J. Birch Elementary. <laughs> Karen Garrett, Whitewater Middle. We're very blessed as we gather here to recognize our Teachers of the Year. It's truly a most exciting event. I suspect our Teachers of the Year, and I'm, I know my back's to you, I wanna to turn to you just a little bit. Uh, I suspect they, they would agree with me that there's probably no greater honor than being recognized by one's peers. Uh, I know I certainly feel that way. You are the heroes of the children in Fayette County. And I just want to thank you for being the heroes of our students. And again, thank you again for all that you do. You reach beyond the pages. You taught me how to dream. Teach me how to dream. Teach me how to dream, teach me how to dream. Now let's go to Superintendent Dr. Joseph Barrow who will announce the winner. Folks, I, I am just so proud and pleased to announce the 2015 Fayette County Teacher of the Year from People's Elementary's Ms. Gail France. <laughs> I'm happy to accept this award on behalf of all the incredible teachers I have known over the years. I used to think that the Teacher of the Year, I still can't believe this, <laughs> it's hard to say that, was the best teacher around. But I have learned that many of the best educators are far too humble to be recognized easily. However, I stand up here as a symbol 
of those quiet, hardworking souls who spend their lives happily serving in the classroom for the good of all the children with whom they have been entrusted. Great teachers are a reflection of what they like to see in others. If you want love, give love. If you want honesty, give honesty. If you want respect, give respect. You get in return what you give. Teaching is my calling in life. The time I devoted to the hundreds of students I've taught over my 30-year career have been my God-given purpose. I thank each and every one of them for the countless memories and for giving me the gratification I receive for being a part of their lives. None of us get to be good at what we do without help. So I thought back to the people who have assisted me along the way. They're the people who help you get through the day. Your colleagues, your buddies. They are the ones who uplift you, inspire you, and whose dedication drives you. They are the ones who make you laugh, feel loved, and give freely of their time, unconditionally. I consider my colleagues at People's Elementary <laughs> to be part of my extended family. Many times it is our families who are cheated most by our profession. In this juggling game of life, my two children, Elliot and Lindsay, are my most treasured game pieces. They are my park place and my boardwalk. They are the two children in my red car <laughs> in this game of life. <laughs> Over the years, they have endured many late dinners, sacrificed help with homework as I graded papers, or forfeited family activities as I wrote lesson plans, developed classroom activities, and completed my master's degree. They also made many sacrifices as the children of a single mother living on a teacher's salary. They're the most special, my most special Tiffany crystal juggling balls. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart, and I can't look at them, for their loving support. So I can't wait, I'll wave to you without looking. And willingness to give their time to be here tonight. I have never viewed myself as special. I live a life dedicated to serving others. It is who I am and defines how I live my life. However, a recent experience caused me to rethink how I view myself. I was in Fayetteville over the Christmas break shopping at Aldi's. As I walked through the store, I was aware of a young woman who kept looking at me. I didn't recognize her nor the young boy with her. While waiting in line to check out, I noticed she was staring at me again. As I proceeded to the car, she stopped me and asked if I was Miss France. I began to tell her my story. I was her third grade teacher 20 years ago at North Fayette Elementary. Upon graduating from high school, she experienced some life challenges, but had never graduated from college until the week before and was starting her first job in a law firm that following Monday. While teaching at North Fayette, I had developed an incentive reward system in which I had copied a dollar bill and removed George Washington's face and replaced it with mine. <laughs> I, was, I was young and I guess I thought I was more important than George. I gave out those dollar bills as rewards and incentives, which I could then, be, could then be used at the end of the month for an auction I held with a collection of small, random, fun items. Over the years, she had kept one of those dollar bills and explained how they would motivate her so she could earn a lot of money for the end of the month auction. She recognized me from that France dollar that she still had. Oh. I mean, I'm not sure how. <laughs> As it continued to remind her to stay motivated, our conversation ended with her telling me how much she had made, with me telling her how much she had made my day. Little did she know, though, what greater impact she had made. She had taken a little time out of her busy day to stop and acknowledge me. As I stood there in the Aldi's parking lot with tears streaming down my face, 
for the first time in my life, I actually felt special. A teacher's goal is to hope they can impact a child's life in some positive way. Driving home that day, I was able to tell myself for the first time, that, yeah, maybe I was special. The tables had turned. And finally, I want to thank you for the time you took tonight to come here to recognize all these outstanding teachers. It is an honor to call myself a Fayette County educator. Thank you. Dr. Barrow read your name. What went through your mind in those first few seconds? I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. My, my heart sunk to my stomach, I think. And, and all I could hear was the screaming in the background. And I just, I was just, I would, I, I, it still blows my mind that, you know, it's just surreal. It is so real because I'm in this room with so many gifted, talented teachers that, um, that could be me, that, that that could be me. I was um, just amazed, I am. Gail France of Peoples Elementary is the 2015 Fayette County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Gail, and to all of our honored teachers. I also want to thank our sponsors who made this celebration possible. We could not present this program without them. A list of the sponsors will be shown at the end of the broadcast, so stay tuned. For Channel 24, I'm Melinda Berry Drosbach. Thanks for watching.